Here we are at the expandable bead station. This station makes use of expandable polystyrene beads. Let's take a look at the material that we use for expandable polystyrene beads. I'm going to keep some of these beads in this uh, drink container. Pour some out of my hand so we can take a look at those. You can see how small those beads are. Each of those beads is a tiny, hollow, gas-filled polystyrene bead. So what we do is we pre-expand these beads first. So right here I have some boiling water and I'm going to put some of these beads into this boiling water. It's not going to take much. Okay? I'm going to put some beads into that boiling water. And what that boiling water is going to do to that polystyrene. Now remember, polystyrene is a thermoplastic. So that bead is going to soften when heated, harden when cooled, can be repeated. So as that softens, another thing that's going to happen is that gas inside that pellet is going to start to expand. And essentially these inflate, just like a balloon. So I'm pre-expanding these. I want to be careful not to fully expand our beads. But what you're looking at is a fully expanded polystyrene bead. Next to it is a raw bead right out of the container. So what I want to do is I want to take that raw bead, put it into my boiling water until it's about half the size of my fully expanded bead. If I put that into the mold fully expanded, there's no room left to grow and to stick to the beads next to it to make my product. Let's take a look inside the uh, pre-expansion chamber. So here you can see my beads are pre-expanded. So I decided today that I'm going to make a monkey use a little bit of my mold release. Again, a little bit goes a long way. And I've scooped some of my beads out of my can. I'm going to get all the water out of those beads. And I'm going to start to fill my monkey mold. This is going to take some time. I want to fill both halves of my monkey mold. Getting on as much water as possible. You can see that I've just about completely filled both of my mold halves. There's a little bit of room right there. And what this is going to do now is we're going to close these together. Remember, these are just pre-expanded. They're not all the way expanded. So they're going to continue to inflate. And because it's a polystyrene, which is a thermoplastic, as they inflate, they're going to touch the bead next to them and essentially weld together. So let's see the trick on getting these aligned. This mold is not symmetrical. I don't have a football. I don't have a softball. Okay, I can't screw it up. If I were going to do a softball, I have to make sure that the softball molds belong together and that they're indexed correctly. In this case, my indexing mark is a band. I can see this one also has a band. So I know that these are indexed correctly when my holes line up and my band lines up. That is the only way that this mold goes together. This band is all the way around and my holes line up. On this monkey, again, it's not a symmetrical mold. There's only one way to put it together. Here comes the tricky part. I'm going to flip this monkey without spilling anything. So I'm going to do this, turn this monkey over, line up my holes, and gently slide that out of there. I can now put in my nuts and bolts that hold my monkey mold together. A lot of times your wing nut can't spin because it hits the mold. So instead of spinning the wing nut, we'll spin the bolt. My mold is now tightly closed. Now it's time to put it into the steam bath where it can finish expanding and complete my product. Now that I have my mold closed tightly, we're just going to use a roasting pan here in class. With just a little bit of water in the bottom. Anywhere from a half inch to two inches of water should be plenty. Just need to generate some steam to continue to expand these beads, soften that thermoplastic polymer so it bonds or sticks or welds to the bead next to it, creating one solid part. So into the pan there, close the lid, and we're going to give that 20 minutes to 
steam that and continue to expand those beads. All right, my mold has been into the uh, roaster steaming for 20 minutes. This is now ready to go downstairs and that can go right into the cold water. It's a solid product. It's not going to crush if we cool it off too quickly. Here's my expanded polystyrene bead mold. We're going to cool that off and then I can unmold that as well and we'll take a look at what we do with that extra material that I flash when we're talking about expanded polystyrene beads. Here's our expanded polystyrene beads monkey mold. Now again, you're probably going to need a screwdriver at some point because the wing nut is going to hit the mold. So I'm going to unmold this by removing all of these bolts. There's my finished monkey. Now, the flash that I have here cannot be removed with an X-Acto knife. So I might gently be able to push that flash down with a screwdriver or even rub it against a table surface. You'll be able to just kind of mash that plastic that down real lightly to make it all kind of one product. Write my initials on the bottom, turn that in for grading. <laughs>